So many people think that Himeno is a groomer. I agree what she did to Denji was gross, but putting Himeno in the same category as Makima when she was just drunk and didn't even know Denji's age is just horribly wrong and reeks of the reading comprehension devil. So here's a rundown on why Himeno is in fact not a groomer. From here on, I'm slapping on a manga spoiler alert about Himeno. I don't know where the idea came from that Himeno loved Aki romantically when he joined, but it's clear to me that it's just a headcanon, or just something that people read and just made up out of nowhere, because they probably ship Aki an angel or whatever. Because when they met, it's such a huge character moment for both Himeno and Aki, where she tells everyone that her friends always die on her, linking it to the idea of the cigarette which ties in later to the narrative and Aki's persistence. It's such an emotional moment and to think that people take this as her wanting to get with Aki or something is actually disappointing. Himeno in all sense and purpose is a really caring person that looks out for everyone. He's a quick example of her looking out for everyone, keeping them calm and collected when they were trapped on the 8th floor, and just making sure no one does something dumb that will harm themselves, and others. The reason Himeno was trying to give Aki a cigarette was because she knew how messed up the job was, and to help Aki take the edge off from her own experience. She already knew the reason why Aki joined to become a devil hunter, because she sees the cycle happen over and over again with the previous partners, for revenge, and eventually reaching their own death. So to make it easier for her partners and probably to make her feel better about herself, she gives them something to help them numb the pain, if they even accept it. She quite literally gets punched in the face by the girlfriend of her previous partner because she's the only one alive and that they can't get their revenge on the devils, so they take it out on Himeno. This is also a moment that showed that Aki is an extremely empathetic person. When he saw the girl punch Himeno, he took the gum he was chewing and stuck it on her back. Kind of a childish way to get revenge, but that's when their friendship bloomed. Ironically a childish and innocent friendship. Which again comes back around when Himeno dies. Easy revenge. Anyways, even then in chapter 35, literally titled Minor, shows us Hayakawa Aki's perspective of the situation when Himeno gives him a cigarette. She quickly took the cigarette back when he mentioned that he's a minor. So you tell me, if anything this makes Himeno someone that actually cares, when she's usually known to be goofy and breaking the rules. If she did fall for him, it definitely happened later over time where she realized that unlike everyone else that she's worked with, who's become numb to crying, Aki still cries to this day. Every time he loses someone, he secretly cries after the mission. And for once, after all that, she's happy to die before her partner, knowing that Aki will cry for her. It's a really beautiful, heartbreaking, and bittersweet moment, and to see that people interpret the whole situation as grooming is genuinely disappointing. And to impose this on anime only is just it for them too. It gives them a mental preconception that's not even true. And just in general, imposing values over made up headcanons and fictional characters because others can appreciate a certain character and how they're written is just small pee, pee energy. I'm glad everyone enjoyed my previous video about Kobani and yeah, if you enjoyed this, drop a like and if you're new here, maybe subscribe. And yeah, that's about it. Peace. Bye bye.